but he said in pregame he was feeling pretty good and felt more recovered from last week's contest than he would have expected. Didn't seem to think this short week was going to affect him much as he chases a big performance here in prime time. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, pressure applied and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33. Oh, tough spot here. Third and long. Back to throw here. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's going to be third and three now. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Cousins. He's got his target, that's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Play action now, Cousins. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is gonna be a first down. That's a good thing for these guys, is it not? It absolutely is, and we've seen it many times demonstrated over the years. Teams have it. There he goes, left side. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Eagles are able to... How does that affect how teams like this approach the short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into, you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally, as we'll have the backups prepared for this because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Personal foul. Baseman. Defense. Big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now Cousins. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up. Look at the big man rumble. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return. And he goes touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only is it hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Cousins the throw. And he'll be taken down. Now Cousins. Into the hands of the rookie, Jordan Addison. And he has another first down, and so get the ball down. Just up in position to make plays, just like that one we saw there. Hurts. And he's caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A very solid gain of 27. With the kind of game he's had so far, he had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch. Third down that. conversions on this drive. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Burks fumbles it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his crew. To throw his Cousins. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Hassan Reddick make that now. Fibbers also third down. Cousins. Work in the middle of the field. He's timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And what can they do here on third and long? Now Cousins. Able to find the open man. That's good for the start of quarter three. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brett. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. <laughs> Working out of the gun. Cousins. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to get I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but he's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. KJ Osborne. 
His second touchdown on the season. And the Vikings are back within a score. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not yeah, sure he can keep... weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? It's usually not. Usually it opens it up for other people that have big games as well. Yeah, we got a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. After the penalty, it's Penny. Penny hit in the ball. Jarred free, but it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over, they're eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 62 yards on the ground. Play action now, Cousins. Touchdown, Vikings! TJ Hawkinson from 17 yards out. And the Vikings have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. Well, Charles, I think you and I both agree these guys were outplayed in that first half. And the scoreboard reflected that, but they've come out since halftime. They've looked like a different team. And it makes you wonder what was said, so motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They call his number again. It's his sixth. Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with a, try go with a quicker guy? And sometimes even... Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick able to recall. Cousins now on second down. Under pressure, and they got to him again. The sack there by Brandon Graham coming in and bringing him down. Throwing his hurts. And he is caught. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn. To throw, Cousins. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Hassan Reddick. And now he got a first down. On third down, Cousins. Pass taken in big tight end and he has another first down as he'll get this drive they've been moving the ball awfully well that pass taken in by Addison and he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to get what we needed to do kept this a one score game yeah without a doubt because they were able to bleed some time off the clock right put themselves in a good position but it's not out of reach and now off to the races down the right side Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Eagles. Week two. Here's a big third down. This is caught. It's Brown. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Scrimmage. On second down, Swift. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, but instead, here's Swift. And that's a touchdown as they broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. You and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back second to every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it because right here he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one around this team realizes there's a long season and they feel very talented and they get it done in this one so it's a victory here for the philadelphia eagles and it took a big fourth quarter to do it but bottom line they got the job done yeah it is the bottom line isn't it a few anxious moments along the way though a few sweaty palms not just for the team but for their fans as you mentioned down going into the fourth quarter how about the rally how about the comeback 
getting it done on both sides of the ball, holding them when they needed to, and finding ways to get points.